Hi guys, welcome back, and we're now going to tackle the chorus part of this sus chord song. So, the only difference in the chorus is, apart from different chords and slightly different rhythms, so there's a few differences in the chorus, but the main thing is that dynamically we're going to shift, okay? This is going to be a really fun uh, way to learn how to do dynamics, and dynamics are simply your kind of louds and quiet patches, so how you make a track sound interesting just by playing softly sometimes, or loudly, or very loud, or somewhere in the middle. And throughout the whole verse, you were at your basic flat rate, so not too quiet, not too loud, nice and in the middle, okay? At this point, we're going to play through the chorus, and I'm going to play it once so you can hear the dynamics that I'm talking about. So it goes like this. Okay, so let's just go through it. We start on the C sus2. So that, remember, is the C with your second finger taken away. Okay, and then we're going to move that back to a C. Okay, then we go to a D sus2. So again, that's a D with your second finger taken away. And then we're going to go back to a D. And you're going to repeat that chord progression three times. So C sus2 to C, C sus2, sorry, D sus2 to D. Just do that three times. And it's a bar on each one. Now with your strumming hand, we're doing all the arrows. So we're just going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So we're strumming the whole lot, okay? So really slowly, before we add any dynamics, that bit sounds like this. Back to C sus2, C, D sus2, D, C sus2, C, D sus2, D. Okay, now what I forgot there is that on the D sus2, when we get to it the, second, the third time, you just strum it once on the D sus2. And we just leave that ringing. Okay, so I'll do a whole playthrough where I'll show you that in more detail. But you can hear it's a really nice sound, and when we add the dynamics, it gets even more subtle. Okay, so we deliberately, for the first time round, play very, very softly. So I'm just, I'm really releasing the pressure on the plectrum. So really, at any time, it could fall out of my fingers, but I've got a, enough of a grip to make sure that it doesn't. But it's that loose, and I hit it really softly. Now. Do not confuse soft with slow, okay? That's quite often, some people tend to do that. And obviously, you still play exactly the same pace. You're just playing softer, okay? And you do that for the whole of the first time round, so from the C to the D. Then when you get to the C the second time, the C sus2, you play a little bit louder. And then when you get to the C the third time, you play a lot louder. So just listen to these dynamics. Very soft. This is about as soft as I want to be going. Now I'm going to play a little harder this time. And now this time I'm going to play a lot harder. And then when I hit the D, sus2, we're just going to strum it once, nice and big. And then we come back to the G, G sus4 part. So this part. So that's exactly as it is in the verse when you get to the G, G sus4, okay? So that kind of ties the two things together. So what I want to do is just play through the entire chorus, okay? And then go back into a verse, and basically your song is just verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. So it's three times round, okay? So let's get this on with a drum beat, and I'm going to do it at 80 BPM, so we're going to come a little bit slower than we have before. And it sounds like this. So one and two and three, we're going to go chorus, here we go. Three and four and C, two, three, four, D, two, three, 
chord D major. Back to C sus two a little louder this time. D sus two. The C sus two louder. Then one big hit. Two, three, four, one and two and three and then we're. Back to the verse. Two, three. Two, three. And so on. Now, as soon as we get back to the verse, the loop of four carries on, then back into the chorus, then verse, then chorus, and round and round until the song finishes. Okay? So. Hopefully that makes sense and you can play through that. There's a nice variation there. I love the change in strumming pattern and I really enjoy the dynamic thing. That always gets me excited when I'm listening to a musician who's dynamically moving around. It's a really good thing to learn. So have some fun with that and next time we'll advance our sus chords even more. Mm -hmm.